It has been a continuing and bitter neighborhood dispute. White Oak, White Oak Music Hall, blaring music past bedtime. Last night at 10 o'clock, we showed you residents who live near that venue suing the city of Houston to stop that noisy outdoor concert. Tonight, we're getting reaction to the lawsuit. Channel 2's Jake Reiner joining us live with the story tonight. Jake? Bill, despite the temporary injunction against White Oak Music Hall and the number of concerts it can have, residents say they feel their city isn't doing enough to protect them from the noise they can hear and feel. The loud music has been a deafening disturbance for a while, these near north side neighbors say. So much so that you can feel it in your core, you can feel it in your chest. Linda Longoria Vargas is one of nine plaintiffs taking White Oak Music Hall to court. My other daughter who has special needs is covering her ears and saying, oh, not again. Parents say the loud indoor and outdoor concerts are interrupting bedtime, studying for star tests, and homework for their kids. Today, they added the city of Houston to the lawsuit because they say the city is not doing its part to lower the volume, so to speak. It's just, it's ridiculous that the city of Houston put this, allowed this venue to be put out here, and now will not even protect these families by looking at its own sound ordinance, interpreting it accurately and enforcing it. What they want is more enforcement, more police presence, and more of a proactive stance from Houston and Mayor Sylvester Turner. His office responded to this today by saying no comment. This is not our neighborhood. It's, it's, it's not been a positive thing for us and our families. We also reached out to the attorney for the White Oak Music Hall, but have not heard back today. Previously, they did state that their client has done nothing wrong and has abided by the city's sound ordinance. If this goes to trial, it'll begin in October. Reporting live, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.